Hi everyone, Mike here from Point Views. Today I just want to introduce you to a couple of probably quite familiar digital construction workflows that can really be enhanced by using Point Views powered by Jetstream. Uh, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a mesh specifically for digital construction and highlight the benefits of using this approach. I'm then going to jump into Autodesk, BIM360 and Navisworks and show you how workflows for, you know, around cloud collaboration and BIM coordination can really be enhanced by using this intelligent mesh model. So what do we need before we get started? Well, what we really need is a registered point cloud captured using any of your uh, Leica scanners. And we need a license, just a standard license of point views powered by Jetstream. And that's it. So with that, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in the LGS file into Point Views. And the reason we've got an RTC360 data set of a plant today, and because we can view that LGS file natively, it's just going to take a couple of seconds to import. Uh, next thing we're going to do is go into our workflow wizard. We're going to choose our digital construction option and then step through the wizard in turn. So defining our RTC360, choosing a high detail because we want some nice, good quality mesh modeling. And we're going to import a mechanical template into the project. We can create and edit templates that we can share with our colleagues. So I'll sped things up a little bit here, but what's been delivered is a, is a mesh that's been optimized. Um, so it's lightweight, it's automatically textured within that single process and segmented based on changes in geometry. So what that means is that we can uh, individually select uh, elements within the mesh, so these pipes for example, and assign a classification to them. So we're starting to build up an intelligent mesh model rather than it being a single piece of uh, dumb data. So if we jump ahead um, 10 or 15 minutes, what we can see is that I've pulled out just some of those simple mesh elements of the structure, uh, mechanical, some bits of machinery, some tanks, things like that. One of our key con digital construction workflows is to use the BIM360 upload. And what this does, if I log in using my Autodesk login and password, is it allows us to export an FBX file or an NWC or an IFC file directly up into a BIM360 project. Uh, and so here the classification comes into play because we can actually define exactly which of these layers we want to export and we can leave the rest behind. So it means we're viewing a much smaller file up in BIM360, so we're going to be able to fit more data up there. And what's great here is we can now view this data on a browser and we can interact with this data the same way as if it was a Revit model up in BIM360. So we can snap to things, we can switch layers on and off like that tank. Uh, we can also raise issues, create RFIs and snap to the geometry that's in there. This is a great tool to collaborate with the wider team on some very familiar looking site data. The second great thing we can do is actually take this data down from BIM360 or directly export it as an FBX file into uh, Autodesk Navisworks. And so here we've got a really great collaboration package that we can combine these as-built data with some design data and perform some simple verification or some uh, quite advanced coordination processes. So just as an example here, measuring the distance between that design tank and the um, as built tank, so we know that there's an issue there that's going to be, need to be resolved in that design data. And the other workflow we can do in here is use that classification to help enhance our coordination processes, so clash detection. So here we can define which layers we want to clash to, so here, in this case our classified layers, and we can clash those against any, any of our trades from the design data. And if we zoom into this mock type clash that I've created, you can see that it's actually performing a surface to surface clash rather than clashing the entire mesh model uh, as one piece. So here, as you can see, there's less false positives and false negatives, and the information's being delivered in a way that's quite familiar for a BIM coordinator. So that's really going to enhance those coordination workflows. So that's everything for this video. Hopefully I've given you a good overview of how you point views powered by Jetstream can be used to enhance your existing digital construction workflows and help you make the most out of your point cloud data. If you want to find out any more details, uh, then just give us a shout and we can get that set up. Uh, but for now, that's everything. Thanks for listening and I will speak to you next time.